Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. UNCTAD has called on Africa to give serious attention to the issue of rules of origin. Rebecca Campbell tells us more. Hi Rebecca. What are rules of origin and why are they important? Right, I've, well the first thing I've got to uh, say is um, the, this is a highly technical uh, trade issue and it's way outside of my uh, area of expertise so I'm not going to get involved in a lot of detail on this but rules of origin are what determine uh, which country a product is made in to put it simply uh, they can be simple they can be complex but basically uh, rules of origin tell you that uh, something made in South Africa was really made in South Africa. Something made in Kenya was really made in Kenya. Uh, the uh, reason they're important is if you have a free trade area and the African continental free trade area has now come into force because the minimum required number of 22 countries has ratified it, then within the free trade area the products of the member states of that free trade area must be able to circulate freely. But to be able to allow uh, products to circulate freely, you have to know they actually came from the member countries of the free trade area. So that's why they're important. They allow the free circulation of goods produced by member countries in a free trade area throughout the entire free trade area and make certain that no products are manufactured and produced outside the free trade area are able to circulate freely in the same way. Otherwise, there's no point in having the free trade area. What is the issue with the rules of origin in Africa? Well, as I said, uh, rules of origin can be simple, can be complicated, and I cannot go into that. Uh, that needs a, a, a trade expert. But every free trade area has to have rules of origin. And Africa already has a series of what UNCTAD, the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, calls regional economic communities. UNCTAD counts eight regional eight economic communities in Africa. Eight. Each of one, each of which has its own rules of origin. So you've got eight sets of rules of origin in Africa already. Uh, the issue is how do you reconcile them? How do you bring them together? How can the African Continental Free Trade Agreement help to resolve the issue? Well, this is what uh, UNCTAD hopes it will do. Uh, it obviously is going to provide a continental-wide framework. Uh, for the African Continental Free Trade Area to achieve its potential, which is enormous, it will need to achieve, ultimately, a single set of rules of origin. Uh, we have eight, as I say, regional economic communities in Africa, eight sets of rules of origin. These reflect different interests, different concerns. They have to be brought together. They have to be reconciled. They have to be harmonized if the continental free trade area is to work. If they're not, the continental free trade area will be crippled from the start. But this is not going to be easy and it's not going to be quick. But the sooner it's done, the better. As I say, the Continental Free Trade Area provides the framework in which to achieve that. UNCTAD also point out that rules of origin should be simple, transparent, predictable, and they should promote tra uh, trade. And that simple and transparent rules of origin prevent what's called origin fraud. That is, uh, products from a country outside Africa circulating inside Africa under the pretense that they were produced in an African country. Obviously, you do not want that to happen. So it is essential that they get harmonized, uh, simple, predictable, transparent, trade-promoting rules of origin for the African Continental Free Trade Area. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, 
Don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.